Joining us now is the chair of the Border Security Caucus, chairman of the House Freedom Caucus, Congressman Andy Biggs. Congressman, good to have you with us. I want to cover a number of things. Let's start with the open border policy. There is no surprise in any of this for us. Uh, this uh, this president ran on these policies. Uh, his uh, the Obama Biden administration four years past. Uh, was wide open at the border and full speed ahead with refugees and illegal immigrants. What are we? Yeah, that, uh, what are we to do? Yeah, Lou, it's it's going to be more of the same. They're already massing on the other side of the border. Many illegal aliens. There's caravans forming, and uh, right now, uh, when I've talked to officials from the Trump administration, who uh, uh, just a couple weeks ago they told me that be, when Title 42 goes out, that's the authority to turn these people away because of COVID. When that goes away under the Biden administration, we already have more people that will be coming in than they were coming in, in the surge of 2019. And so you're going to have a massive right. surge. You're going to have more caravans. The cartels are advertising. You're going to see more human trafficking, more drug trafficking, more sex trafficking, and the cartels are going to control it. And uh, you're going to see a rise in crime. You're and going to see... And, election, and elections have consequences, Congressman. That's right. And this one has a, a, a vicious consequence uh, at the border. Uh, impeachment. Uh, Kevin McCarthy reversed himself today, didn't apologize for uh, basically agreeing with the uh, left wing uh, persecutors of the president. It's outrageous. Here's a man who's not in office and they want to impeach him, which is unconstitutional uh, with the majority view of constitutional scholars. Uh, this is silly. And Mitch McConnell, the Senate minority leader now, aping uh, the, uh, the left uh, and their, uh, their vicious uh, persecutors of this president. What are you guys yeah. going to do about it? What are you yeah, going here, to do? Well, here's, the, here's what we have to do. Because uh, this is in the Senate, and the Senate, there is, as you say, it is unconstitutional. The purpose of impeachment is to remove an officer that you think is a, a, a danger to the republic. Right. And he is gone. So this is clearly un, uh, his, uh, unconstitutional. It's also ahistoric. It contravenes everything the founders said about it. So we have to keep bully pulpiting it. But moreover than that, I think it comes back to the organization um, of, the, of the leadership in our, in our conference. So the first thing we have to do is to remove Liz Cheney, who said uh, such outrageous things. Uh, right. Voting for President Trump was one thing, but to come out and say what she said and provide the talking points for the left, who, and you saw this, Lou, at every turn, the Democrats would stand up and they would quote Liz Cheney on why so they were... So are you going to... Yeah, so we're pushing so this. So are you going we... to vote her out? I, I believe I, I we mean... will. Yeah, yes, I believe we will, Lou, and that's... That's where it's How going. How soon will there be a vote? Well, it's, my guess is uh, as soon as we can get a conference called, and and basically it's we're gonna not, we're not even gonna be in session because already the Democrats have said we're not gonna come back next yeah. week, which I, I don't understand. So so we have to get in session. We have to be able to have a conference meeting in person where we can debate this and have a vote. Uh, the conference has to be in session in order to have a vote for the conference. That's that, extraordinary. That's that's, that's uh, correct. Here's here's why, because no. well, I, we, we're out of time, Congressman. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I'm sure there are very good reasons for it. There are always, it seems, uh, in Washington, good reasons not to to make <laughs> what seem <laughs> to be logical decisions, uh, right. irrespective of the urgency. Congressman, you're a great American. Thanks for being with us. We appreciate it, Congressman Andy Biggs.